Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again, randomize our character, see who we might get, and we get Blue Baby, the bluest fella there ever was. And we haven't really done too much as regular Blue Baby. Okay, we can go Dark Path, or we can go to Mother, but I think Dark Path seems like a good choice to start with. Of course, we have the slightly buffed Blue Baby, starting with, of course, the official buff of the Devil Deals and getting blue flies from poops, but also the unofficial buff of getting um, friendly dips from um, red hearts and also starting with petrified poop makes him a much, much, much more fun character with actually some genuinely good advantages and reasons to play him, which is always nice. Um, I'm just, I'm basically just killing this room by destroying all the poops because I kind of have to destroy them all anyways to... Um, to get all the stuff from Petrified Poop at the end of the room, so why not just do it now while I'm fighting the room? Then I get the flies. Oh yeah, also we can get double Petrified Poop sometimes. <laughs> I always tend to get it on the first floor when I'm, um, when I'm playing as this guy when I already have it, but there you go. Nice little kill there, and we've already started off with 10 cents. I, I just love, I love playing this character now. He's so much more fun. Has so much more intrigue. But yes, as for the question of the day today, kind of a basic one, one that I may have asked before, but where was the last place that you went out with your family? What was the last thing you did with your family? Some of you might not live at home anymore, so that might be a little bit of a long time ago. Some of you, it might have been just today or yesterday or recently. Um, for me, um, I, I've i got kind of two answers also, bad item. I've got kind of two answers. One is um, I met up with my uh, parents because they were going on holiday and the airport is in the city I live in, so they came to visit me before they went. Um, this is kind of nice. They went to see me before they, before they uh, went off on holiday and um, I went and got some food with them. I went to like a steakhouse with my dad. It was it was very, very nice. Um, crack that open, grab a key. And we got a penny as well out of that. That's lovely. Um, yeah, and it was, it was really, really nice. But my other answer is because they're not really my family, but they probably will be at some point. Um, I went to a wedding with my girlfriend's um, parents and obviously my girlfriend as well. I didn't go just with her parents. That'd be weird. Um, but I've been with my girlfriend like eight and a half years yet now, so like they're basically family. <laughs> they're not officially family yet, but they basically are. Um, and both events were very nice. I think I'm just going to grab this. I don't really think I care about Nightlight. I will do as a bomb here though and see um, if I get enough to grab something else. I kind of would like to grab the map, so if we can grab one extra penny here, that would be lovely. Uh, we'll go and try and do an additional room over this way and see. Um, we might get some more poops. We are in the basement, of course. The poops are pretty regular. Um, or we could do this. I was hoping for a thingy to drop there, a penny to drop, but we got one there anyways. We got a look upgrade as well. And we got an additional one there too. Yeah, we can have a really, really strong start as Blue Baby here. We probably still will trade out the poop regardless. It is very good for getting early money. It's essentially a penny a room around. It's not always exactly that, but it's, it's pretty close too. Um, but we will still probably change over to another tactic soon another um spacebar item grab that that's rather nice that gives us a stinky boy Ooh, grab some extra money here i guess thank you okay let's go we got two stinky boys with us come along come on bombinos everybody let's go and we'll take out this fella don't want to use all my bombs on the boss here i do want to still have some available obviously my poop boys aren't going to do too much here. Aren't going to do, do too much. But yeah, I've already spoken a little bit about the wedding, but I, I don't remember. Have I spoken much about the steakhouse? I can't remember, but it was really good. Um, and me and my dad, like, we've always sort of been of the agreement uh, that we're not really into, like, birthdays and stuff too much. Like, we like I, I like them, I enjoy them, but we don't really buy each other gifts or anything like that. And we both know that, and we don't get each other cards, and we, we both are completely fine with that. So what I did instead is, I did send him a card this year, um, but it was, a, like, a Moonpig card, one that you order online, that just said, um, Mum reminded me to send you this. Dude, this guy is fast. Thank God I bought that soul heart. Um, yeah, it, was, it, just, it just said that mum reminded me to get you this, which is exactly what happened. My mum did, did indeed remind me to buy him it, because um, she's big into cards and stuff, and I'm just not, so I just forget. Um, but in it, I just put IOU1 uh, Barbecue House, basically the, the name of the place, because I said that we're going to go there. So he's going to come down for his birthday on the 17th uh, of this month, and we're going to go there, and it's going to be very, very nice. I'm excited for it. 
very excited for it. Uh, we went the last time we went. I've been a few times now. It's kind of weird. So I went. I went the first time um, like about two years ago now, quite a while ago, and it was really, 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 really good. Um, and so I've been wanting to go back again for a while. So then I finally went back again with my girlfriend. And unfortunately, it was really disappointing. Um, oh, is that another space bar item? This game is fucking horrible. I hate it when it does this. What's the point? <laughs> it's so frustrating. Um, but yeah, it, it was kind of disappointing, unfortunately. Um, oh, shit. I need to destroy this. Basically, the... Um, the first, the, the second time that I went, I, I got um, brisket burn ends, I think it was that I got. This is a very confusing room. I, I don't understand what I'm meant to be doing here. What, 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 what the fuck? What am I meant to be doing? I don't understand. What, how do I get in here? What the? What? Um, excuse me? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's horrible. I hate this. Dude, 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 dude. One. No, 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 no. This is some bullshit. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. That was horrible. <laughs> That was so... My, my brain just couldn't comprehend what I was meant to be doing then at all. I was like, what... What am I looking at here? What's going on? I don't get it. Don't really need to blow up the barrels yet, to be honest. If I can get one with the barrels, then I will, but... Really, I want to wait for a timely manner to shoot them where I can get multiple in one go. Like that. Oh, missed my opportunity there. Dude, this barrel's been, like, one hit off blowing up for ages. Okay, there's one. Dude, that didn't even... It doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter. I've been trying to use the barrels. It doesn't matter. Right, now I need some extra soul hearts because health is uh, health is leaving a bit to be desired. But yeah, so the second time that I went, it was just kind of disappointing because I, I had these burnt ends and I was like, oh, this would be awesome. And I got like a really pathetic amount. Like I paid more than my girlfriend did for her meal. And mine was significantly smaller. And I do I do completely understand that the, the meat that I got was a more expensive cut. So it is likely to be less. But it was significantly less for like a five pound increase. It was... I was just kind of like, um, excuse me. This isn't really fair. I wish I would have just got what she got. She got like a waffle burger and it looked awesome. And I was like, god damn it. I feel like I've been um, betrayed here. That was... <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Um... We'll leave the devil. Actually, should we leave the devil deal? I don't think we should, actually, because we can take something. Oh, okay. I think it's time to get rid of the petrified poop because that is an insane. Um, Grants. I, what? I, I, I definitely have had that before, but yeah, I don't remember what that does. Yeah, we can check this out. Scorched earth. And whatever this is. Sanguine Bond. Okay, Sanguine Bond's kind of an interesting one to grab. Put us on pretty low HP here, but that's decent enough. I, I am going to leave Petrified Poop now. I realize that's a bit of a weird decision, but this trinket is so good, so I'm going to leave it. Um, Yeah, and so it kind of put me off going again, but then we ended up going again for a, um, for a friend's... I can't remember what it was now. I think we were going to, like, the theater or something, and a friend wanted to go... Um, or was it before that? Maybe before that. Um, and it turns out they'd actually changed the menu. Um, like, I don't know if they got a new chef or whatnot, but... Come on now. I just want the nickel. There you go. Um, yeah, I don't know if they changed the chef or whatnot, but um, they changed the menu and everything, and it was significantly better. It was so good. Uh, so I was a lot happier the second time I went. Uh, third time I went, sorry. And then, yeah, after that I took my dad. And I've been a few more times since then. So we're, we're going to go again. But when I went with my dad, my, my dad's a big foodie. <laughs> he likes his food. Um, and he can eat He can eat for Britain. He, he can eat a lot. Same, same as me, really. I can also eat quite a lot. But yeah, he can too. Um, and so, although it was expensive, we just ordered one of everything and then shared it all. And um, yeah, it was, it was quite... Quite the, uh, quite the high amount of stuff that we got there. 
HP up. Oh, this just gives us some burn buddies, doesn't it? I forget you can't get burn hearts with this guy anymore. Do need to be careful with my HP. HP's not great. I would like a fire rate up right now. I feel like that's holding me back a little bit. But it's not terrible. I do like the fact that we've got burn orbitals to protect us here now that we've got this uh, item. Whenever we get hit, we spawn some burn orbitals. Essentially, like, getting hit reduces your chance of getting hit the next time. The best way to put it, I think. If one of these guys is eternal. I am eternal. I don't know what the creep does. It doesn't look like damaging creep. But it might be, so... Ooh, eternal heart. Nice. Keep her going. This is most likely secret room. I placed that really wrong. That might not... That might have been secret room and I might have just not hit it. I placed it too far to the left and pushed it too far to the right. Or vice versa. I don't know which way it was. But yeah, that wasn't very good. Good, good. Oh, hello there. That was close. Didn't see you coming. Stop spawning these. I need to kill you. I... Can't kill you if you keep spawning things. And we going to say, I will still destroy my poops because I might get some stuff from it. At the minute, I'm looking for the shop, really. I really want to buy some health and potentially an item that could save us. Basically, this just nullifies one enemy at the start of a room or more. So good. Easy. Scoop the whoop around there. I suppose with this we get a fly every room now as well, so it is a little better in that regard on its own. Okay, these things can be kind of left alone a little bit because they're not too big of a threat early on. Come on now, charge at me. It don't matter. Nice that we got a few luck upgrades to help us along our way here. But yeah, have you ever had that with a restaurant? It's really annoying when that happens. I've had, I've had that happen a few times now with places where they've like been really good and then changed and got really shit. It's actually happened way more times than it should have. Like the earliest memory I have of it happening is um, there was this club that my dad used to go to to play darts. Um, and quite often my mum and myself and my sister would come along just to... Uh, my mum would just have a drink or whatever and chat with friends. Um... Dude, this is... We're getting some pretty bad items here. Also, Scorch Earth has done, like, nothing this floor because all the fires are put out, which is a bit sad. Um... Ooh, that's, that's also a real... I think I'm going to take that. That's a really good trinket. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Buy a soul heart and get a bed. The fact that there's a bed shop is so powerful. Like, obviously, it's only as powerful as that on some characters, but still. And being able to keep all our money for this. The, the trinket essentially means we get um, one of those really good uh, membership card shops at the start of every floor. It's very, very strong. Let's go fight our boss. Yeah, my mum would like to chat to friends and then, like, there was kind of like a kids' club sort of area. It wasn't really a kids' club, but it was like an area where the kids could hang out. And they had... These chicken nuggets. Like, you could get, like, a portion of, of like, I think it was, like, six or eight chicken nuggets. And I used to get, like, one or two of them while I was there over the course of two or three hours. And, oh, my God. I remember, as a child, like, obviously, chicken nuggets are just chicken nuggets. They're probably just out of a packet or whatever. But, as a child, I remember thinking, holy fuck, these are, like, the best chicken nuggets I've ever eaten. And I can still remember them being incredible to this day. And then, like, they changed the chef or, the, or like, which ones they were buying or something. And they were just trash compared i don't they might have still been good they might still be okay but compared to the old ones they were just nothing they, they they just they just weren't shit um i don't know why everything here is on sale king baby isn't a great purchase for us here i'm gonna buy this it's also not a great card really i'll just pop it um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave this one. Unfortunately, not a great shop for us there. I'm hoping for something a little better next time. Um, but yeah, um, I remember them just being, like, so much more trash than the other ones were. Like, so much more. And I was just so disappointed. I was like, oh, come on now. How could you? <laughs> How could you change something as perfect as these chicken nuggets and make them trash? That is a travesty beyond travesties. 
Um, yeah, and then like another one of that I remember there's, there's like I said, there's quite a few examples of this. So I'm gonna just reel through them. Another one was um one of the one of the best sort of ideas and restaurants I've ever been to. Um I haven't been in a long time because like I said it did change unfortunately. But there's this um Italian all you can eat uh near where my parents used to live and oh my god it's so good and it is exactly what it sounds like um it's not like a buffet style all you can eat it's basically like you just you can order as many things as you want but there's just so much variety in what you can get and um yeah there's there's so much like different things so normally you could get i'd normally get like a starter or two and then i'd get like a garlic bread and then a pizza and then a pasta. Uh, and you may be thinking, holy shit, that's a lot of food. And it was, but you could basically stay there for like two hours. So, And there were there were smaller portions generally. Like it wasn't like a, a 10 inch pizza or something. It was like a six inch pizza. So it wasn't like you got super full up on everything. And um, there were all kind of smaller dishes of each. Ooh, this guy is um, hot on his tail. Good. Um, yeah, and it was so, so, so good. Like one of the, one of the best dishes was like, um, I forget the name of it now. Chicken palm. It was like a chicken palm sort of dish um, where it's basically just like a chicken breast coated in like Italian uh, tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese, usually on a bed of like pasta or something or other. I'm not going to try this room because it'll crash our game. I I'm waiting to see the patch notes for a fix, but I also don't want to un uninstall it yet. I know that sounds a bit silly, but hey ho. Um... Yeah, uh, and oh my god, it was so good. It was like the best thing there. We, we used to get it every single time we get. Sometimes we'd even get two of them because they were that good. And then we went back and like the pasta dishes, uh, sorry, the pizza dishes were still fine. But like all the pasta dishes, including that one, I don't know what they did to them, but they were just significantly worse. Um, and it was just a huge disappointment. Yeah, it was just an absolutely huge disappointment. We're like, oh no. How did you ruin this? How did you make this the way it is? Also, by the way, is it just me or is Scorched Earth not working whatsoever? I thought Scorched Earth. So it's it's working partially. It's replacing um it's replacing rocks with various fires, as you can see, but aren't the fires meant to have like orbiting turrets on them that shoot enemies for us? That doesn't seem to be the case at all. Really? Not only is it a mimic. But it's a key beggar mimic. Thanks, game. You've really made my day with that one. I'm not even going to pick you up. You're an absolute shithead. I will definitely take stopwatch. Do we have Steam sale or something? Because <laughs> everything's on sale. But like, I don't know. We definitely don't, but feels like we do. Oh, that's a lot of flies. We should actually destroy a lot of these for flies. Just get a nice suite of them going. It should take care of the next few rooms. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Get you going. The double bombing back to back. Oh, it's perfect. Slot machine as well. Why not? Devil deal. And we got Sanguine Bond right now, actually. And another look upgrade there as well. That's a good item. Okay, let's first of all... Oh, wait, no. Okay. Oh, it's when we destroy... It's, be it's been changed. It's been tweaked. It's when we destroy fires now. Okay. That's more interesting. And they're kind of like Hemolacria shots sort of thing. So we'll definitely take that. I think we'll play this a little. Uh, we got a damage upgrade. Re really, really nice. Another damage upgrade. And we'll go one more time. And I think that time we got nothing. There you go. Um, And let's keep going. Yeah, it's been tweaked. That's interesting. That is interesting. All right. Okay, we got another one of these shops. Um, in fact, I just picked up the wrong thing there. I did not want that. But there you go. We'll take that. And we'll take that. I don't know why everything in here is on sale. Unfortunately, can't afford anything in there, so we'll head out. But yeah, we've got a, we've got a really good run going now. Damage wise, we are fine. I think um, our item plus death uh, plus the sanguine bond players took care of that. I love the fact that sanguine bond can give you damage ups. I think we got like one or two full damage ups from it. 
And yeah, this is an interesting tweak to this now. I kind of like it. But now it does mean I have to bomb the blue and purple fires. Let's bomb a purple fire and see what we end up getting. So we, we just get some some herming wisps. Okay, this is this is a cool rework to that. It adds a bit of danger into the run because now you've got blue, uh, sorry, purple fires and red fires that could potentially harm you, especially the purple ones if you don't have bombs to take them out. But you gain an advantage from having them. I like it. I think it's a good idea. Would like a bomb for that. Of course, we're going to lose some of these wisps. But I think one of the best things really is that we're gaining a protective aura. That's really nice. Now we have unlimited bombs, which is perfect for our current situation. Awesome. So yeah, we definitely want to be destroying these. I think we're at the maximum amount of these now, but we can go and uh, destroy this. Whoa, that's big boys. And they, they actually shoot fires as well. What happened to you? Oh, I just forgot as well. We have glitter bombs with this, which is a really good combo because now we can get unlimited items if we're patient enough. Isaac automatically releases items that take time to charge. Mm, that doesn't do much for us. That's a really cool item, though. That's an item from the shop. Make sure next to non-item purchase free. Nah, we gotta stick with what we currently got. What we currently got is working so well. But yeah, we've created quite a special little run here, I think. I, I love number two. Number two is one of my favourite items. People that don't like number two are just bad. I, and sure, I hurt myself with it sometimes, but for the most part, I just think it's good. Come, do the do the poop. I think I think for me, one of the biggest things about it that's incredible is for one, it adopts your bomb upgrades as you can see, but two. It's usable outside of combat. Personally, like, if I was going to make that item, um, the, the the things that I'd do is, one, probably make it not adopt your bomb upgrades, because that's really strong, because it already has a base bomb upgrade that you don't have um, in butt bombs. But also, yeah, make it so you can't use it outside of combat. So, like... If you wanna, if you wanna actually open up a secret room or open up a chest or whatever, it has to be in the room available to you already, and you have to work around that. The way it is at the minute is just very, very strong. Grab that real quick. Beautiful. No thanks. Get through there, you. Need as much money as possible. Now we have Steam Sale. We have officially everything half price, which for some reason everything already was in most rooms, but now it officially is. The only thing is these wisps are pushing our butt bombs around, as you can clearly see. I'm really not intentionally trying to push the butt bomb at all, but it's happening. I wonder why the blue ones are so huge. <laughs> but we have like a full suite now. That's, re that's a really cool rework. I like it. Unless I'm just thinking of a different item that was the one that made it put them around it. But I don't think I am. Especially with glitter bombs, we're getting such value even if they don't hit. Because they already do some damage even when they miss. Oh, we, f we got our first, our first tainted heart to show up. He has a full red heart and spawns a blood clot on pickup. There you go, we got a clot. Awesome, that's our first one of those. God damn. We've not seen a lot of tainted hearts. We've not unlocked a lot of tainted hearts, to be fair. Maybe we should aim to do a little bit more of that with the tainted characters. Okay. No! Okay, that was a shame. I really didn't want to do that. I, I, was, I wasn't going to buy the prism thing, but I was going to buy maybe the other trinket. Um, potentially. That was a little bit of a shame there. I have to say, ooh, hello. Um, so we definitely, hmm. I think we definitely want to take this because it's not only health, but devil deals that are cheaper. But we also, of course, want to grab enough books to, um, I, think I should have gone for how to jump first, shouldn't I? Oh, well. I didn't realize how many keys we were lacking, I'll be honest. Oh, 
God damn, this music is so good. There's another key. There's another one of those rooms. As I said, I just... Unfortunately, I can't enter them because there's just such a high chance of game crash at the minute that it's it's a little sad, I realise. It's a little sad. I hope people are understanding of, of our worries and qualms. Give me that. Back the way we came. Yeah, it's nice to have a little clock buddy with us. I was wondering why we were like killing stuff faster, but we're literally firing twice the amount right now. Nice. Go in there with our wisps. Probably shouldn't have gone this way first, actually. The shop might be the other way. Extra black heart. But yeah, cheap devil deals is going to be nice here. Yeah, I thought shop would be this way. Now we've got enough money to spend on the uh, trinket shop and this shop. I'm kind of more willing to go to the shop. Grab this guy. Birdie in a box. Right, got another key there. Ooh, he's got tech, um... Wait, what's he got? I think he's got Jacob's Ladder, actually. He said Jacob's Ladder fella. Ah, nice. We've just got golden keys. Let's go back to our library real quick. Got a nice amount of speed, so we're rushing through here. Pop this one once. Get ourselves a little fella. And on our way, we make ourselves. Secret room, potential of here, maybe? Here, maybe? No? Odd. They seem like the most obvious places. I mean, there is one other really obvious spot. Actually, there's two. So there's one here. Okay, there you go. I've already got your damn Steam sale. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Can that guy drop Steam Sale? Or can he only drop the quarter? I never remember. The sun? Here comes the sun. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, hello. Oh my god. Golden pennies come out the sky. I mean, we've already, already, already almost got 99 here, so... Where the hell did it go? Get us up to 99 and we're good. Bye, Zs. Okay, money-wise, we are just absolutely rolling in it. We really should be destroying fires when we get the opportunity. Especially blue fires. It's free extra damage slash protection. Okay, nice. Whoa, hello. Wasn't expecting you in here. Good, good, and boss time. I used to take by all those times expecting a Devil Deal item, and obviously that's not going to happen because it's not the boss that can give us one. But I think we're pretty, pretty set for a win here. This is a really good build. Have we done boss rush? We haven't, so I probably should have sped up a little bit there. But then again, we are way off of it. Um, and we can do Dark Room this time around. Good, good. Tiny Krampus is a lot of fun. Then we go one. That's just money. Two. That's more money. Three. That's more money. Oh my god. Four. Five. Six. Damn, that was a, unfortunately kind of depressing. We, we essentially missed out on everything there. But because I got Satanic Bible, I'm pretty okay with ch chucking health into Sanguine Bond. I love Sanguine Bond as an item now. It's so good. I just wish it wasn't so specific to Devil Deals. I wish it was, like, in Sacrifice Rooms or something. Um, yes, and yes. Look how cheap these are. <laughs> I 
Um, this is the worst. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I can do that and get some money out of it. Not that I need the money, but I guess it's back up to 99. Uh, here we don't really want to piss it out. We can just head straight towards where we want to go. Interesting to see that even piercing doesn't go through these guys when they're uh, got their penetration up thing going on. Another soul heart there. Another soul heart here. Ah, I thought if I said it, it'd happen. I was wrong. Have I still got my clotty? Whoa, look at my, um, I do still have my clot, by the way. But look at my, uh, buddy in a box. He's like, what the hell is he? He's like a, a box with a hand on it or something? He's freaky. I like him. He's freaky. Oh, these enemies annoy the hell out of me. Just die already. There you go, give us some hurling boys. And you as well. May the fires be ever in our favour. But yeah, I, I kind of I kind of completely forgot the to, to carry on with the topic I was talking about earlier. But another one. Oh, this guy reflects. No thank you. Come on, just pop your head up, dude. worst. Anyways, as I was, was going to say, one of the other places that um, I had an issue with that with... Okay, that was abrupt. Um, I had another one of those issues with where it just kind of went to shit was there was this place uh, that did like carveries. I, is, carvery, is carvery something you get in America? Basically, it's just like a place where you go and get like a, a Sunday dinner um, with like all the trimmings and you can like pick, pick up as many as you want. They'll, they'll serve you your meat and your like and like a few of the other things so you can't get too much of it so you don't like just take everyone's food but otherwise you can just like gather your own of everything else you can get as much veg as you want as much roast potatoes as much yorkshire puddings things like that um it's really good um and uh it was great yeah and the carefree part of it is still pretty decent but they also had like a regular restaurant part um or bar food sort of thing and the bar food was pretty damn good like it was it wasn't, like, bar food's never amazing, but it was pretty respectable for bar food. Like, it was in the upper echelons of what bar food is. And they, like, rebranded the menu, and we had a look at the menu, and we're like, ooh, this sounds really good. It's got all these new burgers and everything. So we went in, me and my girlfriend, and we're like, oh, yeah, we'll get one of these burgers. And we got one of them. And, oh, my God, was it the biggest pile of trash I've ever eaten in my life. Um, it was literally, oh, what a great item. Um, it was literally just a... Um, it was like a, like a 50 pence burger patty in like, I wouldn't say stale bread, but it wasn't exactly fresh. Um, and okay, this is going to be a good, good room. Um, it wasn't stale, it wasn't exactly fresh. And then the, the like lettuce and stuff on it was all just a bit like not great. And then... This is the kicker. It was a beef burger, a beef patty, and it had mayo on it. Like, as standard, it had ketchup and mayo on it. And, like, we literally, like, asked, like, do you know, like, normally within a few minutes of getting your food, someone will come over and say, how's your meal? We were just like, what the fuck is this? Like, is this your new menu? Like, oh, yeah, this is the new stuff. And we were like, what did you do? Like, what, like... It didn't say anywhere on the menu that there was mayo on it. Neither, like, I don't know what... I'm sorry to anyone out there that does this, but what freak puts mayo on a beef burger? I'm sorry, but that's just weird. No one does that. Like, there might be the rare few of you out there that enjoy that, but the 99 percentile of people out there, if they order a beef burger, they expect it to come with no mayo every single time. Even people that like it with mayo, which... I don't know if there's any, but even if that's the case, I'm sure that they expect when they order a beef burger for it to come with none and have to add it themselves or, or specifically ask for it because nowhere adds it by default. And it wasn't on the menu that it added mayo. So we were like, why did you put mayo on this? Like, what the hell? It doesn't say that on the menu. Why is there mayo on it? Like, and we also said, like, the burger quality is just bad. Like, it's just, I, like, I could... Like, it, it, it kind of tastes like you've ordered 
a 12 pack of burgers for six pounds sort of thing like 50p burgers sort of thing um and the one was just like oh yeah they send them in like that pre-made like they order the burgers and they're already assembled and essentially they just like microwave them or stick them in the oven to warm them up i was like oh my god and you're trying to burst this new menu this is disgusting how dare you try and sell this <laughs> This is, like, considering their old burgers were pretty decent. They weren't amazing, but they were they, they were serviceable. Like, they were, they were pretty cheap and, like, worth the cost that you that you were paying. And it's like, these are pretty decent. Let's go do the hush. Why not? And it's just like, what have you done? <laughs> like, and then to top it all off, they were, they were like, like I said, I, I very, 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 very rarely complain in restaurants or anything. Even if I don't like something, I'm just not one to complain. So it's, it, I, I was kind of like... Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I'm not really one to complain anyway, so it's like I was feeling a little uncomfortable about it when we complained, but I kind of felt like I had to because it was like the most disappointing experience at a restaurant that I've ever had. <gasps> C-section. I'm so glad I came this way. Um, I don't know how this will work, but i got to try it. Interesting. Soul hat skinned. I doubled. Awesome. Um... Yeah, and I gotta say, it was just awful. Uh, so yeah, to top it all off, like, because we complained because we were like, this was really bad, they were like, okay, cool, we'll give you like a free dessert or whatever. And I was like, okay, that's that's really nice, thank you. And there was also, because it was an entirely new menu, there was some desserts that I was like, oh, this sounds good. And I was like, there's no way you messed this up. It was a dessert pizza, um, which essentially, if you've seen a dessert pizza before, it's like, it's, it's made up like a pizza, but instead it's um, like a, a biscuit base and then like a chocolate sauce. And they usually put like bananas and strawberries on it and in in like instead of cheese they put like some sort of gooey caramel on it or something like that and it sounded really really good and so i was like awesome i'll get that and then they were like cool cool we'll get you that we'll get you that um and it was like a share or two so it was for, for the both of us she's like we'll, we'll get you that for free don't worry about that um i was like awesome and then it came out and she was like hey sorry but we don't have any bananas or strawberries so it's like Two of the main ingredients... Oh my god, we killed him already? Holy shit. Um, two of the main ingredients... Can we do... I think we should do void. This is this is a this is a void run, isn't it? Um, yeah, like... I was like, two of the main ingredients that are required to create this, you don't have. Like, they are some of the only toppings that are on this damn thing. And you don't have them. So, why are you even selling it? And then also the like biscuit base was kind of like not very nice. It got it had gone like a little soggy, but it was also somehow kind of stale at the same time. I really don't know how they achieved that. It's some sort of marvel of science. Um, and I complained about that too. I was like, this was really bad too. Like, you should have told me prior to me ordering it, or when you found out that it was missing two of the key ingredients, and I could have ordered something else. And then even what you sent me was just not good. Um, so yeah, I was really disappointed. And that's like the only time that I've done like a big complaint to a restaurant or whatever. Um, and the, the, the girl, obviously, I... This is something, by the way, just, just a general service announcement. If you ever complain at a restaurant, unless it's specifically about the service, don't be mean to the service. It's not their fault. A lot of people are mean to the servers and like rude to them because they don't enjoy their meal, but it's nothing to do with them. Um, specifically in this scenario, it's just that management had tried to cut a bunch of corners and just created a terrible menu. Um, and yeah, so I was I was like pleasant with her. I didn't I didn't like I wasn't mean to her or anything, but she was very apologetic, like kind of like oh yeah, this new menu is dog shit, isn't it? <laughs> I was like yeah, it is. It's really bad. Like they have cut so many corners to save money it's just it's just like greedy corporations it's like like i'm sorry but it was a chain pub there is no way they weren't already making a good amount of money there is no way they needed to like like redo this to save a bunch of money because they were not like it's not like they were only just a float they weren't making enough or anything like that they they were just greedy and it was just oh my god come on now do you have to be like this do you have to be? I'm surprised this clot is still alive. Wow. That was, uh, that's a lot of money. Not that I need it, but that's a lot of money. It's also some HP we can remember. Yeah, definitely one of my most disappointing experiences. 
And like I said, one of the only times I've complained. The only, see, the only other times I've complained, um, what the hell, oh, the spike rock. God damn it. <laughs> Prian, you troll. Um, the only other few times I've complained, um, one of them, there's a subway, like, just outside my house, and I've complained, um, I've complained once at the subway, but only because I know the guy, like, I, I, I've been in the subway quite a lot, so the guy that works there, one of the main dudes, recognises me, and, like, we, ch we sort of chat every time I come in and stuff, and, um, he, like, he served me, and he obviously didn't know it wasn't on purpose or anything, um, and he, like, the bread that I got was, like, hella stale, um, compared to normal, and I went in the next day and was like, hey, the, the sandwich that you gave me yesterday was, like, really stale, and I, I only got to eat, like, a quarter of it. It wasn't very good. And he was really apologetic and gave me a free sandwich that day. And I, I, I'll be honest, I only really complained because I knew I was going to get a free one the next day. But I was also a little bit disappointed that I basically didn't get any lunch that day. Or at least I didn't get the lunch that I paid for because it was stale. It, and like I said, it wasn't his fault. It just, it just happened that way. Wait a minute. If this works with butt bombs, which I think it will, this will be a pretty good combo. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Ow. I've never noticed that the eye on that block watches you. Oh, there's a spike drop there. God damn it. More damage, more damage, and nothing. I realized before Delirium that may be a little bit of a weird choice, but I think we'll get the health back. Especially considering we've got jumper cables. What the hell hit me then? Game needs to calm down sometimes. It's just like, lol, you got hit, not gonna tell you why or how, but you did. Accept it. It's always by fucking explosives. That one was like so slow to drop. God damn it. Mate, I'm getting hit so much right now. And it's, pee it's peeing me off. What What on earth is hitting me right now? Was there creep on the floor then? Okay, I need to go back to that room with the HP. What the hell was that? Was There, cre there must have been creep on the floor that I just wasn't seeing. Because I, I felt bullied there. I mean, the void is harder now, so it's kind of fine. I expect it, but like, come on. This is silly. I've just lost like all of my HP. <laughs> also a tinted rock there. Mate, things regening as uh, spiked rocks is the most trolliest thing I've ever seen. Get out of here. Let's vamoose. Okay, we've got our health back up to decent levels. I don't know where the hell I'm going right now. I'm so lost. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> it's just me not paying attention at this point, but still. That was pretty useful. Clear rune. Don't really think we have... If we'd have had Solar Lilith still, I would have taken that, but that's gone now. Okay. Oh, we got some angels. Can't remember what these do, because they're not regular enemies that spawn, but I'll try and stay alive. I think, I honestly think these things with my reflection are working out really well because they have extra range so they're able to like latch on to home at a bit longer distances, I think. I might be completely wrong about that, but it feels that way. Okay. We're building the health back up. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. This might be delirium. It is. 
Although I don't have a ton of health, I'm pretty ready for him, so... We should be okay here. Also, we will get health randomly when he spawns things, so... I don't mind. C-section's also gonna annihilate him, so... I also don't mind about that either. As you can see, all the C-section babies are just still hanging around everywhere. Oh my god, they are actually demolishing him. Also, they've frozen him somehow. Look how many of them there is. They swarm. At dawn we ride. Mum's foot. Ooh, mum's foot into mum's heart. Strange. I think you're pretty much dead, aren't you, dude? Oh, ho, ho. you switched into the wrong form there, buddy. But there you go. A nice quick win. That was a really fun one as well. Get, especially getting C-section towards the end there. Definitely worth going to the hush. Very much big enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.